What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna compare the three primary options that exist in the world right now to learn how to code and to become a software engineer. These three options are being a self-taught software developer, so teaching yourself how to code alone, attending a coding boot camp, and just getting a conventional computer science degree at a university or college. The point of this video is to hopefully get to a conclusion as to which of these three options is the best option that you can take if you want to learn how to code with the goal of becoming an employable software engineer. Now I was originally going to film this video just by kind of ranting, and I have in my mind already a rant of these three options, but then I figured that it might be better to do this a little bit more rigorously and even pragmatically. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to compare very objectively these three options on seven, seven, seven axes and characteristics. So I've written them down here. I'm going to compare them on price, usefulness, difficulty, speed, support system slash motivation, opportunities, in other words, what opportunities do you have to get a job afterwards with the three options, and access. How easy or difficult is it to access these three different options? I'm going to rank these three options on all of these axes. We're going to give three points to the one that wins a particular comparison, two points to the one that's in the middle, and one point to the worst option whenever we're comparing them. Then at the end, we're going to tally up all the points and we will have our final ranking. Now, I haven't actually gone through this exercise of giving all of these points, so I'm very curious if by the end of the video, the point ranking is going to match the mental ranking that I currently have in my mind for these three options. We're going to find that out together. One little caveat before I jump into all of these comparisons. I do want to say that I personally attended a coding boot camp. I don't have a CS degree. I have a math degree and I never coded when I was in college and I'm not a self-taught developer, but I did attend a coding boot camp, Full Stack Academy in New York City. That being said, I am going to do this as unbiasedly, if that's a word, as possible. In other words, I don't have any skin in this game. I don't care which of these three options is best at the end of the day. I just want to give you the most objective information that I can and my thoughts on this matter. So with that, sit back, pulverize the like button. I want this like button to disappear by the end of the video, and let's get into these comparisons. So we'll start with price, and here I think that we can all agree this one is pretty straightforward. The cheapest option, and therefore the best option from a pricing point of view, is going to be being a self-taught developer. At worst, you will spend maybe a few thousand dollars, depending on how expensive the courses or tutorials that you end up buying are. But the point is, it's going to be fairly cheap, so the self-taught route is going to take first place in the pricing comparison. Then the coding boot camp is going to take second place, because with the coding boot camp, you might actually pay nothing up front if you go with a deferred tuition model or income share agreement model. Or at worst, if you pay everything up front, you'll pay maybe, you know, $15,000, $20,000. I paid $17,000 for mine. But if you compare that to a CS degree at a private institution, for example, in the United States, you might be looking at literally $50,000 or $60,000 a year. Even if you have a decent amount of financial aid, you're still going to be looking at tens of thousands of US dollars per year. So that's going to be more expensive than your coding boot camp. That's going to be third place. Now let's look at the second character characteristic, usefulness. And here, once again, the self-taught route is going to take first place. Now, the reason I'm saying that it's going to take first place is because in an ideal world, and I realize that this is not easy, but that's why I have multiple characteristics. We're going to compare difficulty level a bit later. But in an ideal world, as a self-taught developer, you can teach yourself the most useful targeted material that you would need to become employable. If I could go back in the past now and be a self-taught developer, self-teach myself how to code, knowing the knowledge that I have now, I would really be extremely pragmatic in what I would teach myself. I would learn the very basics of some programming language, probably Python or JavaScript. I would learn the basics of full-stack development, you know, the front-end client-side stuff, APIs, and then 
I would immediately get into data structures and algorithms for coding interviews. I would definitely use my own company, Algo Expert. By the way, if you're preparing for coding interviews or your systems design interviews, check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, CLEM, for a discount on the platform. But the point is, we can make the self-taught route as useful as possible. So that takes the first place. Then I'm gonna put the coding bootcamp as the second place because in a coding bootcamp, you are gonna learn very targeted skills as well. You will have a little bit more fluff than you would in an ideal self-taught scenario, but still you're learning really useful stuff. And then I'm gonna have to put the CS degree in third place because when you're doing a four year CS degree, you're naturally gonna have courses that are required, that are really useless, that are gonna teach you stuff that's never gonna be used on the job and so on and so forth. So CS degree, third place for this characteristic. So now let's look at the third axis or characteristic. And this one is gonna be difficulty. And this is where I think the self-taught route is gonna start to look a little bit worse than the other two. As far as difficulty is concerned, I have to put the self-taught route in third place. That's the thing about going down the self-taught route. It is very difficult to do. Like I said before, if I could go back knowing what I know now with all the knowledge that I've accumulated over the last four years or so, then I could craft the ideal self-taught curriculum. But when you're a beginner and you know nothing about coding or software engineering, it is extremely daunting, extremely difficult. So it has to go in third place. Now, if we look at coding boot camps and CS degrees, it's kind of hard to compare them against each other as far as difficulty goes. Depending on the type of person that you are, you might think that a coding boot camp is more difficult because everything is more jam packed. Or if you're another type of person, you might think that a CS degree is more difficult because you have potentially harder classes or more theoretical stuff. So here it's really hard to stack rank them against each other. So I'm actually gonna say that they are tied both in first place. They're far easier than the self-taught route because you have literal guidance from professors, TAs, people who have created these companies like coding boot camps or institutions like universities who are there to guide you. So it's far easier than self-taught. We're gonna give both of those three points in first place and self-taught route only one point. Fourth characteristic, speed. In other words, how fast can you go from never having written a line of code in your life to employable as a software engineer? Here, I'm gonna have to go back to giving the self-taught route first place because again, in an ideal scenario, you can teach yourself the most targeted, most useful stuff. You can also code basically all day long. You don't have to deal with professors, with you know other people in your coding bootcamp or in your CS classes who might for whatever reason be slowing you down. You can go as fast as you want and do as much as you want. So it is gonna be in an ideal world, the fastest option. So first place for self-taught, then naturally coding bootcamps are gonna come in as a close second because with a coding bootcamp, you can go from never having written a line of code in your life like I was before I went to my coding bootcamp to employable as a software engineer in as quickly as six months, even quicker, depending on how long your job process takes after the coding bootcamp. So it's definitely gonna be the second place here. And then the CS degree, which is gonna take four years. Maybe you'll be able to finish it in three years or even two years if you do an associate's degree, but still you're looking at far, far, far more time than the coding bootcamp or the self-taught route. Characteristic number five, support system slash motivation. This one I think is very important and it's one that some people might not really think about when they ask themselves, should I teach myself how to code? Basically, how easy will it be for you to stay motivated throughout this endeavor of becoming a software engineer? And will you have a support system in place to help keep you motivated and keep you happy, keep you sane as you go through it? And here I think that the obvious answer is that if you go down the self-taught path, you will have basically no support system and you will have to be very self-motivated. You will have to, to be able to tell yourself this is gonna be worth it. What I'm doing will lead to a job. You will have to be able to go through all of that alone. If you have bugs, if you're stuck on a project or on something, you're not gonna have people to ask. Of course, you have the internet, you have YouTube, you have me, your friendly neighborhood Clem, but at the end of the day, I don't know how much motivation, or maybe motivation I can give you, but how much support and, you know, 
tailored help I can give you. So self-taught, definitely going to be in last place here, and this is a really bad one, I think, for the self-taught developer, and it's one of the toughest hurdles to get over. Whereas coding boot camps and CS degrees, you have your professors, instructors, TAs, you have all your peers, you're in this together, they have specific facilities in place to help you if you're stuck or if you're feeling down or not motivated, so it's hard again to stack rank those two, I'm gonna probably tie them here in first place, but they are far better than the self-taught route. So self-taught, third place, the other two tied in first place. Now let's look at characteristic number six, opportunities. Will you have opportunities to land a job or multiple jobs or interviews after you go through all three of these options? And here, once again, I think it's pretty obvious that if you go down the self-taught path, you will have a more difficult time. If you're self-taught, you are by definition probably alone, and it's just going to be more difficult for you to get access to opportunities, to have a network, and it will also be more difficult for you to get opportunities because as a self-taught developer, you have to prove yourself a little bit more. If you go to a boot camp or a university, you have some form of credential. Now, whether the credential means much is a different argument, but the point is you have a credential that some companies are gonna view as a positive sign. As a self-taught developer, you don't really have a credential or you don't have the same kind of quality of a credential. You know, you don't have an institution backing you. For example, you don't have Harvard backing you or you don't have a really good boot camp backing you. Again, first of all, not everyone is going to go to Harvard and even that we can argue about how good these credentials or big brand names are and how good they're going to be in the future, but still as a self-taught developer you don't have any of that, so you're going to be in last place. Now if we compare coding boot camps and CS degrees to each other, here once again I don't think it's that easy to stack rank these two. Some people would argue that, oh, at a university with a normal CS degree you have far more opportunities. You have internship opportunities. If you go to a really good college like Harvard, Stanford, whatever, Ivy League, you have a lot more access. People just naturally give you preference, yada yada yada. I'm not sure that that's actually true or that that trumps or beats what you get with a coding boot camp. Because at coding boot camps you also have certain career fairs. Now a lot of coding boot camps have specific partnerships with companies that basically give you instant access to a company. So I would argue, and also especially with everything going on right now with the pandemic and all that, where colleges are going remote and we're seeing colleges lose a lot of value, in my opinion in the next 10 years we're going to see most universities basically die out and all of the big names like Harvard Harvard, for example, are going to lose a tremendous amount of brand value, in my opinion, in the next decade or so. But so my point here is that it's hard to say whether CS degrees or coding boot camps give you better opportunities. I'm still going to say that they give you far more opportunities than the self-taught route, so I'm going to tie them once again in first place with self-taught in third place. Last but not least, the seventh characteristic, access. In other words, how accessible are each of those three options. And here, keep in mind that we've already talked about difficulty, about motivation, about all of these other characteristics in our previous comparisons. But if we're looking at just the pure barriers to entry for each of these options, I think that it's pretty clear that the one with the least amount of barriers to entry is the self-taught route. After all, all that you need is a computer, maybe a laptop, and an internet connection. And if you've got access to YouTube, to Google, to Wikipedia, to all of these websites that are for the most part free even, or even some paid websites but that aren't that expensive, you can self-teach yourself how to code. So the self-taught route is going to be in first place here. Then I'm going to have to put the coding boot camp in second place because the coding boot camp is less expensive than a CS degree, like we said before, and you don't really need, you know, any sort of impressive background to attend a coding boot camp. You just need to pass their application process, and that's mostly an assessment of your skills, of very basic programming skills that, you know, they give you resources to learn. It's not so much, oh, did you ace the SATs when you were younger, or did you go to a really good high school, did you have great extracurriculars, which might be stuff that you didn't have access to when you were young. And also, you know, as part of the access, 
process thing, the fact that a coding boot camp doesn't take that big of a time investment, or that there are options to do it part-time, like at night over one year or two years, makes it far more accessible than a CS degree that really takes longer. You know, a CS degree or most CS degrees are going to take four years. A lot of them are just specific to people who are between the ages of 18 and 21 or 22 or 17 and 21, whereas a coding boot camp, no matter how old you are, you can go to it and it's not atypical. You're not going to feel like you don't belong. So I do think that coding boot camps are a little bit more accessible than CS degrees. So the self-taught route is in first place here, coding boot camp second place, and CS degrees in third place. And now it is time to tally up all of the points. So if I add them all up here, it looks like the self-taught route has a total of 15 points, coding boot camps have a total of 17 points, and CS degrees have a total of 13 points. So that means that according to these seven comparisons, coding boot camps are in first place and CS degrees are in last place. Now the interesting thing to note here is that the variance is kind of like equal, right? In other words, they're all two points apart, so it's not like CS degrees are absolute garbage or like coding boot camps are amazing, right? They're all fairly close. And I will say that this stack ranking is actually what I had in mind. Like at the very beginning of the video, when I said that I had an idea of how I would rank these, I would have put coding boot camps at the top, self-taught as second, and CS degrees at the bottom. With I probably would have would have put CS degrees and self-taught closer together just because I think that the lack of motivation and the and support system and the difficulty of being self-taught is just like very bad. And I think that it, it pulls it even more. It's almost like you could wait, you could add weights to these you know, seven characteristics, and some are more important than others. But, you know, we'll just go with this and we'll keep things pretty simple. Anyway, so that is the end result of all of these comparisons. I hope that you found this video insightful, informative. I am very curious, especially for those of you who are already software engineers or who have gone through one of these three options. I mean, if you're a software engineer, you probably have. What do you think? Do you agree with my comparisons, with my assessments? Let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already pulverized the like button, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you enjoy short form written content, follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoy pictures, follow me on Instagram, and otherwise I will see you in the next video.